In this video, I'm proud to present you with a new and improved user interface for our Thrive Architect plugin for WordPress. Hello, I'm Shane Melach from Thrive Themes, and we have spent a lot of time listening to feedback and doing user testing and watching how our users interact with Thrive Architect. We've carefully crafted a list of all the issues that we found that have been reported, and we are now releasing a new and improved user interface, which addresses all of the issues we found so far, makes things easier, more efficient and faster, but also keeps things familiar so you don't have to completely relearn how to use Thrive Architect. In this video, I wanna show you what this new UI looks like and what the main changes are. So let's jump in. This is a landing page loaded with the new Thrive Architect interface. So let's start by just having a quick look at all the things that haven't changed, right? Your interface here on the canvas is pretty much the same. You can hover on things. You see the frame with your options. You can click on them. You have your usual options. We've moved the move icon here to save a bit of space, but we have move and save and duplicate and delete right here. And all of your sidebar options right here are also pretty much the same as they've always been. So some of them have been cleaned up a little bit. They, they look a bit neater now, but in terms of you know the options that are available, what they look like, what they do and so on, everything here in the sidebar is familiar. We have made some speed improvements. So in general, you should find things to be a bit snappier, especially if you're maybe working on an older computer. We have managed to make this a bit more resource friendly and you might find things like switching between elements and opening and closing panels to be a bit faster now than it was before. And also the same as the breadcrumbs right here. And even though we have a frame around, so we have a sidebar here and a sidebar here, it's also the same as the amount of space that's left. So it might look at first like we have, you know, taken away more space from what you can edit on your website, but actually we have the space that's added here on the right side has been removed from the left side. So the total space you have to work on is still the same. So then let's look at the things that we have changed. And I've selected a text element right here that shows us one of the things right away. This text, the inline text options take up a bit less space and you can also move them. So if you need to move them out of the way, you can do that, right? So these are now also independent of the frame. So if I resize this, you can see they stay where they are instead of kind of moving around as you resize your preview. So that is the first improvement. And the other one you've just seen is that we've made the screen sizes more accessible. So this is permanently visible. It's no longer two clicks to go into the smaller screen views. Responsive editing is super important and responsive editing is pretty powerful in Thrive Architect. So we wanted to make this more immediately accessible and easier for you to work on the different screen sizes. So that's moved here to the bottom of the bar. This has freed up some space, which also means that undo, redo, and the revision manager are more immediately accessible right here in the bottom part of the sidebar. And that brings us to the biggest change, which is that we've moved some options over here in this mini sidebar on the right. Now, one of the reasons we did this is because what we noticed is that in Thrive Architect before, the left sidebar was kind of doing triple duty. It was there to show you the style options when you had something selected. It was there to show you the elements list when you didn't have anything selected. And it also showed all the settings if you went into the settings. But that could sometimes be awkward because you'd have to switch out of edit mode in order to get into the settings and it could just be a bit awkward to work with. So instead, the logic we have now is that on the left side, you find all of your styling options. And if you have nothing selected, it just tells you, hey, you know, select something to make the options here appear. So instead of this kind of switching back and forth between modes, it is always there for your styles and options. And everything else is on the right side. So if you wanna add something to the page, you go to the right, you open this. This opens your elements list, which is the same as before. You can also immediately search. So if I open this and start typing icon, it's immediately going to search for that. So from here, still the same, you can drag and drop elements onto the canvas like this. And then the workflow is basically the same as it was before. The next one is templates. So once again, makes templates more accessible. You wanna load or change your template, you click on this 
and it brings you straight into template selection. So it's much more immediately accessible, not hidden in some menu somewhere. And then finally, we have the settings wheel with all of the settings. These are all the same settings you've had before. It's just been rearranged a little bit. I think they're now easier to find. Let us know what you think about this. So we have global settings like fonts and header and footer for a landing page. And then we have your other landing page settings right here. We've also taken some of the settings and just put them in advance. So some of the stuff you almost never use or, or most users almost never use is now simply in this advanced. So you're not looking at a super long list of settings trying to find a specific thing. We have tried to make the most important stuff like save and export and import landing pages more accessible right away when you go into settings. But the basic logic is that all of your style stuff, all of the options for anything that you select on the screen is on the left and is the same as before and everything else is on the right. So you add stuff and you load landing pages and so on on the right. We have also made this change to prepare for some new features that we're working on that are coming where we notice that we just cannot keep cramming everything into this left sidebar in the old interface. So in the future, you will see some new features and some new options appear that we can now make possible because this new interface frees us up to do so. So that is a quick first look at the new user interface in Thrive Architect. Leave a comment below to let us know what you think and if you have any other suggestions or ideas on how we can make your workflow with Thrive Architect even better.